Namaste, myself Dr. Raj Prasanna. I am heading the Department of Physiotherapy and Rehab at Apollo Hospitals. On this World Stroke Day, I am here to talk about the rehab following stroke. So the brain stroke, this occurs reduced or totally blocked blood supply. So as a result, the nutrition and the oxygen to the brain tissues is deprived. And this leads to the death of the brain cells. This can happen within few minutes. So stroke is a medical emergency. It has to be treated with potential and immediate medical care. This would help in uh, prevention of further symptoms. So what are the common symptoms of stroke? This may include the patient may have a slurring speech, difficulty in moving his arms or legs, difficulty in visualizing, vision and headache. These may be the common symptoms of stroke. If you notice any of these symptoms, you need to seek for immediate medical attention. So you need to think fast, fast, F-A-S-T, F, F for C for the face, ask the patient to smile. If there is a drooping of face on one side, you may notice it and think of A, that is ask him to lift both the arms. If the patient is not able to lift the arms on one side, you need to take care. Then think of yes, yes for speech, if the speech is slurring or the speech is very strange, you need to notice it. And T, the T stands here for time. The time is very, very important in management of stroke. So immediately you need to look for a medical attention and just call for medical emergency at 1066. And the patient would be shifted to the hospital for acute medical care. Once the patient is shifted to the emergency and the patient is stabilized, and the rehab phase starts with acute phase of rehab. The acute phase, mainly the patient is positioned. Positioning forms a major part in stroke rehab. So we need to position the patient for inflexor synergy for upper limbs and extensor synergy for lower limbs and trunk control. Everything is very important. So frequent changes of positions with adequate support, preventing the patients from developing tightness and contractures. And it also facilitates the normal pattern of movements during the recovery phase. So next, the patient comes into a subacute phase of rehab. In the subacute of phase of rehab, we make the patient sit. We move the patient in and around the bed. We train the patient on the affected side. Patient and the family attenders are educated to make the patient use the affected side rather than the unaffected side. All the activities are focused on the affected side. Then comes the rehab phase, the final treatment phase, wherein now we have a lot of advanced robotic rehab technologies for stroke rehab. At Apollo, we use at the acute phase of rehab, we use something called as erigo, wherein in this erigo, the patient is being positioned in, even in the acute phase in lying position and the patient can be made to stand even on the acute stages of stroke. We can just now see how the patient comes to standing from the lying position. So that's a gradual tilt of the tilting table. So the patient comes to standing and there's an alternate movement of the legs. There's a stepping motion of the legs. So this stepping motion of the legs helps in prevention of post bedridden complications. This, this helps the flow of blood from the peripheral to the central uh, system and this also helps in improving the consciousness of the patients. Once the patient is able to tolerate 90 degrees of uh, standing in this erigo, the patient may be shifted to the next equipment called as the locomat. This locomat it is mainly a robotic gait training equipment. Physiotherapy forms an integral part of rehab following stroke. The aim of rehab is to make the patient back to his near normal phase. Here, the patient is fixed on an advanced robotic gait training equipment called as locomat, wherein the patient's body weight is totally suspended by the equipment and through a robotic guided gaiters, the patient is made to walk. The most important thing in a stroke rehab is you train the activities correctly, the patterns of movements are reciprocated in a right pattern. If you train in a wrong pattern, the patient may have a wrong pattern of movements. So in this locomat training, 
the virtual feedbacks plays a major role in improving the activities of patient so here we can see lot of virtual feedbacks wherein the patient image is reciprocated through a virtual image that is called as an avatar where the patient is made to walk and there are lot of activities wherein the patient may reach towards the cattle and catch so the moment the patient touches the cattle he would be scored this would motivate the patient and improve the physical functioning so in the stroke rehab the upper limb rehab forms a major part so the patient's movement of the upper limbs and activities and recovery of the upper limb is very very important in the stroke rehab so as a part of this hand rehab as an advanced equipment we use this armio the upper limb movement device this helps in movement of the shoulders elbows wrist and finger movements there's a precision of the finger movements and there's a good improvement in the hand functions so to motivate the patient we focus on daily activities like marketing and wherein picking up the apples from the basket and taking it back so these activities would motivate the patient for his daily activities of daily living from the physiotherapy and rehab perspective we all are working towards the theme of up again after stroke thank you